All right, let's, oh, let's yeah. get into more happy news, Rob. We're talking so sad. People leaving. So sad. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> bye. So, <laughs> first up, the Giants signed a player, guys. Anthony Johnson Jr. has been signed. Now, I'm going to put it this way. If you look at other, you know, guys who are giving you Giants news, they won't word it as he was signed. They'll word it as he was awarded to the Giants. That's the way they word it. To me, that sounds a little weird. <laughs> it just sounds a little weird. Like, you don't award a human being to a, to a team. It's weird. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to another team. He was the guy put on waivers, um, you know, and was awarded to the Giants off the Packers. Um, he's 24 years old. As you old, say. Six foot, yeah, six foot even, <laughs> 205 pounds, was originally a seventh-round pick out of Ohio State in 2023. Uh, last year, this rookie season, 12 games, Four stars, 24 tackles, one interception, three passes deflected, and a 45.6 PFF grade, which for those keeping track at home, not very good. Um, Only 26 of his 303 defensive snaps came in games he didn't start. So I find that rather intriguing. Like, you start him four games. So you start him roughly a quarter of the season. He's a starting player for your defense. But if he's not starting, he doesn't play basically at all. That's that structure is weird. Yeah, I would have to look at some of the games that the Packers played last year, like and see why. Like, was there injuries? Yeah. Is I, that I, it? I have to wonder. That was it. Yeah. So, if we got any Packers fans watching, feel free to pop in the comments. Let us know what's going on because that was a little <laughs> odd to me. I really thought so. So, any cheese heads out there? <laughs> <laughs> More Parmesan, please. <laughs> that TikTok yeah. is in my head now. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, it, it, interesting, interesting move there at that point. But again, you got a young player who hasn't had a lot of time playing yet, has had a little starting experience at that point, played in the postseason with the Packers there. And, you know, obviously they liked him better than they liked Javarius Owens, which is interesting because here's their own draft pick that they could have kept. And instead they let him go and sign somebody else's draft pick. Again, not a good sign. When you're signing a, thir- a seventh round safety, because you cut your seventh round safety, as I said, you you see now, guys, why all the articles are popping up about Joe Shane maybe not being the best drafter with the Giants so far. This is why. That's a concern. So. Uh, yeah, but, but you're talking about seventh rounder. Like I, I, I'm not gonna harp over that. There's other I'm things you can make concerns about. Like that. Yeah, but. He's had other issues. This is just the ones that are more obvious that are being cut loose sooner, you know? Um, yeah. Now, he's actually from my neck of the woods, by the way, too. He's he's from St. Petersburg, Florida, too. I was going to reach out to him, see if he's helping a fellow Pinellas County guy out and come on the show. <laughs> but, uh, apparently, he has no way to message him on Twitter. So, <laughs> If you like that clip, then you will love the full episodes, too. Find us on your favorite podcast app, and look for us on all your favorite social media platforms. Thanks so much. Please, I'm, I'm begging you. Please, please subscribe.